Hello Aries. This is you versus them for the 15th through 21st. It's for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see. What's going on for my Aries? What do my Aries need to know? Cards flying out, guys. Two of Wands. I'm feeling like there's definitely something that you guys are striving towards. Here's always that with Aries. Always on the go. Let's see. What's keeping you from this person? What's keeping Aries from this person? What's keeping Aries from this person? Please show me. What's keeping Aries? Because <laughs> there's something that you've learned, okay? There's some truth that you know about the situation. Everything is clear to you now, okay? Could be an air sign you're dealing with or thinking about concerning you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. What's keeping this person from Aries? What's keeping this person from Aries? Nine of Swords. <laughs> well, this is all about... Um, this person thinking the worst, okay? Thinking that um, maybe that you will not allow them back into your life or that um, you're going to light them up. But this is all about them keeping themselves from you, basically. All of the thoughts that they're having, this overactive imagination, thinking that you're just like, you're out of their reach or that you're not going to give them a chance or something like that them themselves they're keeping them from you okay gemini energy there hmm. what's influencing aries what's influencing aries usually i use two decks but for some reason i felt compelled so we're going to go with it to use one for you guys let's see what is what is influencing Aries? Two of Pentacles. You got a lot on your plate. You're trying to you're trying to do a lot of things right now. You're trying to make it happen. Okay. You know that there are some things that you um, want to accomplish, and in order to do that, you've got to keep your eye on the ball. You've got to keep your eye on the prize. You've got to keep that balance because once you take your eye off of what it is that you really want, then things kind of go haywire. So your focus is not with them, okay? Your focus is somewhere else because in this situation, you feel like you know all you need to know, okay? Capricorn energy there. What's influencing the other person here? What's in, okay. Two cards came out. Three cards came out for them. Three of coins here. Um, wanting to work with you, compromising, feeling successful, but they don't know how to. They don't know how to make this happen with you. Can you see that? The three of pentacles there. The wheel of fortune, and the five of wands. They feel like working with you, yeah, it definitely will be a good thing, but they don't know how to do this. They don't know how. This is where they want to get to. They want success with you, but they don't know how to acquire it, okay? Because they, they're letting their mind kind of um, take off, get away from them. We have Leo energy here, okay? I'm just going to put those three cards right there. What's currently going on for Aries? That one to jump, so I'm going to take it. Mm. Some things that you guys are learning. You're still learning. I'm feeling like there's something new that um, has come to light. Okay. Some of you may actually be, excuse me, looking at this individual, but I don't really get that. What I'm getting is that you're kind of looking out for this person, not like you are wanting to support them, but it's like you are um, taking notice of things that are going on around you. Almost like you're expecting them to come back or to do something. And so it's like you're keeping watch. I'll say that. Okay. What's currently going on for them? 
the Empress. This person, I feel like, is working on themselves, to be honest with you. I'm feeling like they they want a new beginning. There's something that they have started as well. Something that I feel like m makes them happy. Okay? Maybe a Taurus individual. Taurus, Libra, maybe another Aries. But I'm feeling um, strong Gemini. It may be another person currently in the picture for this person. Something that they... Um, somebody they started over with even could be here. Okay. Maybe a, a child's mother or father that's currently in the picture. Let's see. What's coming in for Aries? What's coming in for Aries? Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. You're trying to figure out exactly what it is that you want to do. I'm feeling like you guys have a lot going on currently, okay? Um, and I think that's why the Two of Pentacles is there because it's like you see different, you see different advantages with different things, okay? And you you're realizing that you can have um, several different things, but you have to keep that balance. You have to keep your eye on the prize. Um, strategize, okay? So I'm, I'm guess I'm getting that that's what you're learning. That's what you're studying. That's what you're trying to figure out, like how to really maneuver in this situation, okay? What it is that you want that takes precedent? Yes. What's coming in? A Scorpio energy there. What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? Star healing their path. Figuring out what they truly want to do. How they can, you know, get themselves out of this um out of this um, this headspace where they just do not know what to do, almost like they're fighting against themselves. Um, sometimes, you know, you can get in your own way. And I feel like that's what they've been doing. So with this Empress being here, um, or the star beside the Empress, it's making me feel like this person's, they're coming out of the Nine of Swords energy, or they will be coming out of the Nine of Swords energy and really start to work on themselves and figure out what is going to make them happy. What is the path that they need to follow here? Okay. I'm feeling like it's leading them to you guys. <laughs> Quite honestly. All right. So let's see. What is advice for Aries? That's Aquarius energy there. The advice for Aries. Yeah. To be strategic in this situation, okay? And I'm feeling like this is for you guys to do what you feel is right. Do what you feel is necessary, okay? Um, and, and really don't leave any stone unturned here with the two of swords down here at the bottom. Mm -mm. Take all of them. <laughs> don't leave any stones unturned because here it's like you have unfinished business. So... And of course, the advice is not to have unfinished business. It's to like, you know, turn over every stone. Do what you feel is necessary, right for you. Make sure you strategize in this situation, okay? You don't want to be hurtful for sure to anybody. But in doing what's right for you, sometimes people get hurt along the way. Not that you intend to or even that you know that you're doing it. So just make sure you do things with integrity. Okay, guys? Aquarius energy there. Hmm. Let's see. What is the advice for them? What is the advice for them? Five of Pentacles. You know, in, that, in this card, there's two people there. Okay? They don't have much. But they're there. Okay. So what I'm getting is that maybe somebody, um, you know, left you guys before or did something that was very deceitful, dishonest. And um, it's time for them to really like show and prove. To be what they probably promised you they would be before to uphold that. To be there for you through thick and thin. I don't know if it's too late. But I think this is what they're really having to come to grips with too. 
is that they may have done some things that they feel like they can't come back from. Okay. Taurus energy there. What is the outcome for Aries here? What is the outcome for Aries? Five of Cups. Maybe in leaving something behind, you guys are going to feel kind of regretful about it. It's kind of sorrowful, you know, but all in all, you know, if you're doing what you feel like you need to do for you, then there's nothing for you to feel sorry for unless you are actually stepping on people as you're doing it, because that you don't want to do. Okay. But as long as you're doing it and, and, and just because you do things that's best for you, um, don't mean that, you know, you are being deceitful or hurtful as long as you do it with integrity so do not feel bad about something if you are actually doing it for your greater good okay because what you decide may not be what someone else else wants but it's what's best for you okay guys scorpio energy there feeling like all is lost or feeling very regretful about some things. Um, maybe that you guys will, will not find a connection like you did with this individual. I don't know what that means for you guys, but yeah, just do things with integrity. Okay. And make sure that, um, be 99.999% sure that whatever decisions you make is what you want. Okay. Let's see. What is the outcome for them? What is the outcome for them? The strength. Hmm. I think this person definitely wants to be there for you. Okay. Leo energy there. I think they want to come out of the cold as well. Okay. With you guys. I think they're also having a hard time facing what they have actually done to you guys in this situation. And I think this was messing with them, honestly. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, what do the romance angels have to say to you guys? Because that's your reading. What message does the romance angels have for? Oh, okay, Aries. I'm going to take that one. Love yourself first. Mm -hmm. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Again, do what's right for you. Okay, love yourself first. Do what's best for Aries. Okay, without intentionally trying to be hurtful to someone else. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.